I know that you know you have a John, and that is what really inspired this show, right? What can you tell our audience about that? Um, well, I lost a friend to suicide, and um, it, it is not a day that goes by that I don't think about that. And it's it's different because you. I don't think we were as close as the guys on this show, um, but his impact, his death impacted me as much as the guys on the show. It, it really was sort of a wake-up call to go, how are you going to live differently? And, and how are you going to make sure this doesn't happen? Um, and, and so I can look at things in my life, very specific moments that I went a different way because of him. The show, and I'm a half-hour comedy writer, and I said, no, I want to tell this story. And that was something that I said, I, I, I can't do that. I've never, when you're a comedy writer, they don't let you in the drama world, and when you're a drama writer, they don't let you in the comedy world. And I was like, I don't care, I'm going to write this thing. And uh, Channing, who was head of uh, the network at the time, just believed in it, and she supported it. And now, with Carrie and everyone at ABC Now, it, it's been... I, people always make fun of broadcast TV and about its limitations or about the notes. I have not been limited in anything I want to do in the show, and the studio and network's notes have made this show better. They're incredible partners. I don't, I don't, it's so much better because of their notes, and I can't even think of a note they gave that was bad. And so much of the first season, and some of into season two for sure, is about the mystery of what John did and why. And we saw so many flashbacks with the amazing Ron Livingston. I amazing. Ron Livingston is amazing. I, it's so funny because he, I see him more than the cast. The cast is up in Vancouver shooting. I write in LA and I see him, our kids go to school together. So I see him every morning. And um, I have made it a plan that um, in the show, the actors only know what their characters know. So for instance, um, Delilah knew she was pregnant before the friends knew she was pregnant. Um, in our show, on the first day when I met Ron, I had to tell him all the secrets of the show because he knew about 9-11, he needed to know all the stuff that the rest of the actors only found out when we did the table read for the finale. Um, and so uh, Ron and I have become extremely close because I've just had to trust him from the first moment I met him. The first time I met him was in the Catherine and Eddie's bedroom which is now a set but was originally shot on location. And we were supposed to meet there. I was going to tell them the secrets. I had people at the door protecting so no one could hear the secrets. The only thing in the room was a bed. <laughs> so we both lay on the bed, <laughs> and I told him <laughs> all the secrets of a million little things. Well, this is a weird thing to ask, but would you say his story is done? Are his flashbacks done? Are the you know callbacks done? You know, you started this interview by asking me about my friend who's still very much a part of my life. So no, his story is not done. It will continue to affect them just as deeply as my friend's death affects me. Um, so no. Um, in fact, uh, there's an episode coming up in a few where, uh, called One Year Later, which um, commemorates the one year anniversary of him taking his life. And Ron's in the whole episode. He's, he's probably in it more than any other character. Yeah. So kind of no matter what, everyone's still going to have memories and recall him. That's what happens in life. You know, our, our, the compliment the show gets that means the most to me is authentic. And I wanted the show, in all the ways it's structured, to be authentic. So Ron Livingston is number one on our call sheet. And if people don't know that, number one is you know the, the rank of, of, of where the actors are and when they're called to set. Um, he's number one on the call sheet. And I did it on purpose because I wanted him to be gone. And I wanted the rest of the cast every week that we go, there is no number one here. And what are we going to do without our number one? The rest of the cast is alphabetical. But for John's character, I really wanted to be there that way. So it is really, hopefully, true to the way it is in life, where um, you move on, but you never forget. And lastly, would you say there's more secrets to uncover, or it's more of just memory? Um, of John, specifically? Um, I don't think there are many more secrets to uncover. There's ways in which we realize things he did that we didn't know about. But, um, you know, I am really careful and try to be responsible in the portrayal of someone who took their life. They do not have the ability to continue to talk and be a part of life once you're dead. And it's really important for impressionable people who might be uh, affected by our storylines to realize that. Once you kill yourself, it's over.